Hello guys, so we are now in Barcelona at Avalanche Summit and we met with the founder of Avalabs himself, with Amon Gunsir. And uh, Avalabs launched Avalanche, one of the largest layer one blockchains. Uh, good to see you here again. Great, great to be here, Anna. Very nice to be talking to you. Yeah, so can you tell us more about uh, the vision of Avalabs, uh, Avalanche? Uh, I know that uh, uh, you try to digitize uh, all the assets in the world. Can you uh, tell more about this? Sure. Um, Avalanche is uh, the latest uh, uh, technology, the latest blockchain with the best technology. It is the fastest blockchain ever deployed. It's also the one that achieves its performance without compromising decentralization. And uh, Avalanche is new. It was, this, it was uh, launched only uh, about 16 months ago. And in that 16 months, it has risen from nothing to be one of the top 10 chains. Its growth has been phenomenal. We've had uh, an enormous amount of users. We're seeing hockey stick growth in monthly active users. Uh, we have more than 2 million users right now. We have uh, more than 120,000 daily users. And uh, we have, um, uh, we have been, uh, we've, we've deployed best in class technologies such as uh, the Avalanche Ethereum Bridge. So um, we're at a very sweet spot and uh, we, I'm talking to you guys from Barcelona where we just had our summit and uh, the summit was, uh, has been a lot of fun so far, at least from my perspective. Yeah, Avalanche has such a huge uh, success, already more than 10 billion uh, total value log and uh, it's uh, one of the best uh, conferences I ever attended. Thank What's you. your feedback on, uh, on your own summit? Well, um, so it's, it's hard for me to say, um, but uh, Avalanche was launched during the pandemic. This was the very first time that I got to see my community and I'm blown away by the energy I saw in all of the rooms and all of the meetings. There was a lot of young uh, people uh, is issuing, starting new projects on Avalanche. Got a chance to talk to quite a few of them. It's been fantastic. Uh, there's, it's just such a sweet, supportive community. I'm, I was blown away. There aren't that many suits, uh, but there's a lot of exciting new projects being launched, a lot of techie discussions, a lot of uh, uh, tech conversations that we had. So it's been fantastic. I've really had a great time myself. Sure, the biggest problem facing blockchains is the fact that they don't scale. So this, I think, is something that everybody knows and they have seen from Ethereum what happens when a chain fails to scale. Avalanche has two big innovations that actually allow us to address this. One of them is a much faster consensus protocol called Avalanche Consensus. We are actually three times faster than Visa speeds, and so we can do uh, we can do in, we can fin finalize transactions in under a second. Uh, so that makes us absolutely the fastest chain. In addition to this, we have pr support horizontal scaling by uh, by uh, in the form of subnets. So uh, what a subnet is is a dedicated chain with its own virtual machine and its own validator nodes that anyone can start. And you can have application-specific subnets where smart contracts operate on their own chain, if you will, and interact with other subnets. Now, uh, that design, that architecture, is quite unique to Avalanche. And, um, and it's, it's an amazing architecture because it allows for horizontal growth. Every single uh, application can then be isolated from other applications. And uh, the fees that, uh, that rise because you know, when, a, when a single application gets very popular do not affect the other applications on separate blockchains, on separate subnets. So that puts us in a unique position of being able to absorb growth. We believe that the space is going to be growing tremendously. We've seen we're making it happen. And as that happens, we have a way for people to spill out into their own subnets. And we have overall a way to absorb that growth on our own chain. So I'm really excited about the year to come because we're going to see the valuations rise, I believe. And uh, as that happens, the activity that comes on chain uh, needs to be absorbed. And we are, I think, one of the very, very few chains with the right architecture. And uh, you launched as well a new incentive program, Multiverse, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, 4, uh, 4 million AVAX tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, is it like 
uh, is it equal to 345 million dollars or is it like uh, uh, as it was announced 290 million no 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 it's uh, we are committed we're committed to uh, to supporting the subnet architecture and the deployment on subnets and by committed i don't just mean technically and with all of our hearts with all of our engineers with all of our time which i think is really the invaluable resource but also uh, we have committed resources, financial resources, uh, to uh, to the tune of four million of ox, uh, up to up to three hundred and twenty million or three hundred forty-five million dollars worth of it. So uh, I can't wait to see uh, what people will do with the resources that we were going to be giving out to them. We're going to be giving out these tokens to deserving uh, deserving applications, deserving projects over the course of the years to come ahead of us. I'm really thrilled about that incentive program. And last year announced uh, another incentive program, uh, Rush Avalanche of uh, 180 million dollars. How is it different from this multiverse program? So Rush and Multiverse was, are structured very similarly with a very big allotment of Avax tokens. Rush got started as uh, at around 160 million dollars or so worth of tokens. The, those tokens have gone up in value so much that uh, I think it's about 600 million dollars worth right now. So that money is still allocated for Rush. The purposes of Rush and Multiverse are very different. Rush was designed to support DeFi, and Avalanche became, I believe, the top DeFi destination. The, uh, the, all of the blue chip DeFi applications exist on Avalanche. Yield opportunities are enormous on Avalanche, and we're going to continue to see that grow because the Rush rewards are still in place. That's going to keep on going. We believe DeFi to be one of the strongest, most important growth areas going into the future. Multiverse is different. It's our horizontal scaling solution. We're going to be moving a lot of applications to, uh, to, uh, to their own subnets that, uh, that don't need to be interacting frequently with other applications on the default chain. Key among those are things like GameFi. Games need to have the, typically their own subnets. We're going to be supporting those. And also using Multiverse, we're going to be supporting bridging applications. So bridges like Layer Zero, like our own bridge, etc., are going to be uh, supporting the subnet, uh, subnet growth. So well, meanwhile, Rush will continue to push for DeFi. So those are the two pushes. But expect more incentive programs for other growth areas. So NFTs are an area that, uh, that deserve attention. And we're going to be uh, doing whatever we can to help support the growth of NFTs on Avalanche. And what are the most interesting use cases for you being built on Avalanche? Uh, and as well, you mentioned uh, uh, cases, uh, initial litigation offering, initial So offering. many. There are, of course, there are so many use cases on Avalanche. It's hard to pick, uh, pick winners. It's like picking your favorite kid. So um, there are, well, I mean, key, key among all of these are DeFi applications. I happen to think that they're very important. There are uh, really exciting uh, applications that are the innovative applications that are being launched on Avalanche. Uh, for example, Platypus is a very exciting stable swap, and uh, it offers um, offers a very low slippage when you're uh, swapping from one stable coin to another. This is a primitive operation. I'm sure everybody will someday have to do this. So um, it's a very very useful operation. I'm super glad to see that innovation that from that young energetic team happen on Avalanche. In addition. Uh, DEXs, the most innovative DEXs are on Avalanche today. I can, I can say this with 100% with certainty that uh, the, the crowd, the group of developers on top of Avalanche have thought deeply about how to trade assets, how to digitize assets. And, uh, and we have the world's best DEXs uh, online today. Moving forward, um, I'm really excited about gaming applications. There are quite a few games that you might have seen here, Krabada, The Chickens, etc. These are all small uh, play-to-earn games, and uh, they're gaining a huge amount of popularity. They're growing, and uh, they're fascinating things. So all of those uh, are going to be flourishing uh, as in the years to come, I think. So that area is very exciting. And we're also seeing uh, high-value, three-dimensional gameplay backed by blockchains. So there were a couple of companies doing that. Uh, Heroes Unchained, etc., uh, all going into uh, to, to full-blown deployment mode. So I'm thrilled about uh, seeing them flourish as well. I could go on like this for many, many hours. There's so many fun applications, but those just that's just a couple of uh, favorites. There is of course Dexalot. There is Banky. There is Trader Joe. Um, there is Pangolin. There's a whole bunch of other applications that are really exciting on top of Avalanche.
Yeah, all these projects <laughs> it is growing a lot. And uh, I mentioned uh, initial litigation offering. Uh, oh, you yeah, did? Yeah, yeah you okay. In case? addition to all this, there are also new asset classes. One of them that we invented is called initial litigation offerings. And uh, in the US, typically the justice system is fair but expensive. And uh, because it's expensive, it's trustworthy but expensive. Because it's expensive, people with, uh, with a rightful case, people with a rightful grievance, often give up on, on what is rightfully theirs. You know, so somebody hurts someone else, but the person who's hurt cannot seek what is rightfully theirs because their, their pockets are not deep enough. If you have to sue a large corporation, you typically have to settle because it's just too expensive to litigate. With in, initial litigation offerings, we, uh, what the idea is, is that uh, the, uh, there's a token sold to people who are backing a cause and the money raised does not go to the other side, it goes to the lawyers, so there's uh, actual credentialed people involved in, the, in processing the, the, the money and therefore it's unlikely to rug pull, it's unlikely to do an exit scam. The money is used for litigation and if there's a winning, then the winnings, the rewards are distributed to the people who back the lawsuit. So that's the raw idea and uh, we saw the very first ILO take place about uh, four months ago. It was a huge success, it was, it was sold, it was oversold and, um, uh, and uh, it was a case of crop destruction and uh, it's the biggest, biggest case of crop destruction in the United States. I'm really excited, I'm one of the backers of that case, I looked into the facts and I believe that the person who was, who was wrong, essentially what happened is in California some sheriff ended up uh, destroying someone's crops. And the farmer who lost everything he had, I am proud to back. And uh, hopefully when he gets his day in court and wins, some of the winnings will come back to us, the people who supported him. And he is thrilled because he, he can actually take the state of California to court. Yeah, that is quite useful application. And uh, you made some, uh, some announcements during your keynote, such as uh, launch of uh, Core Wallet, uh, specifically for Avalanche, Bitcoin Bridge, uh, and some more. Can you tell more about that? Of course. Um, at the summit, we announced uh, the, um, the launch of a new wallet called the Core Wallet from Avalanche. It's a multi-chain wallet with ledger support. It's essentially everything you want a wallet to be and cannot find in any existing, existing wallet uh, out there. It works on mobile, it works on a, in a browser extension, it's, it, there's also a web component. It's just a delight to use. I cannot wait to uh, unveil that. Coupled with the core wallet is, uh, is a bridge for taking assets from Bitcoin to Avalanche. So people who hold Bitcoin can now participate in DeFi. They can use Bit their Bitcoin as collateral for borrowing. So instead of selling their Bitcoin when they need money, they can put it up for collateral and borrow against it. Um, they, uh, uh, the entire experience is, uh, is a sight to behold. We are again, once again, and time and time again, we have taken the space forward. We've brought better technology and we have brought better experiences. With this core wallet and the Bitcoin bridge, we bring to, uh, to everyone the ability to smoothly integrate dApps, applications and bridges with one's wallet. And that I think is going to hopefully make the, the entire crypto experience much easier for people who are not technically savvy. So I think the biggest growth uh, impediment in this area is the fact that it's so hard to use. The user experience is so limited. So uh, we're trying to, uh, I think the core wallet will address that. Yeah, I think it will help much to better user experience. And uh, you uh, announced as well implementation of uh, private networks, uh, ZK Snarks, can you tell more about that? Sure. So the subnet architecture that we have allows us to run any virtual machine. We don't just have to run the few that exist. Anyone can create their own virtual machines. Um, at Ava Labs, we've been creating some innovative new virtual machines. One of them that I discussed yesterday is a ZK Snark based uh, VM that allows anybody to perform private computation. So the computation happens privately off-chain, it can be arbitrarily complex, and then it's checkpointed back to the specific subnet uh, in a way that proves that the computation happened with integrity. That is, it happened correctly and, uh, and a particular outcome happened. The simplest example of what this means is you and I can play chess in private, let's say, complete what we're doing, and report back to the chain only the fact that you won or I won 
knowing that each and every one of our moves was a legitimate chess move. Now, of course, nobody wants to do the chess thing. What you really want to do is financial things. And in finance, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the privacy of our transactions is paramount. And with, uh, with ZK Snark based VMs, what we can do is we do many financial transactions in private and then check them back onto the subnet knowing that uh, the results, the netting that's happening, the settlement that's happening is in line with the financial rules in place. So I'm really thrilled about this. I also announced, coupled with this DK Snarks idea, uh, a homomorphic encryption based uh, VM that we're working on wherein we can blind transactions where uh, we, can, we can hide the amounts so that anybody who is looking at what's happening on the, on the network might see the transactions themselves but will not be able to see the data. So this is very, very important, especially for Web3 applications where the user controls their data, wants to present them to other people, but doesn't want to reveal that data to the world. And so we can start to make that happen. Yeah, I think it has a big progress. And uh, as well, you are making uh, big partnerships as well with traditional companies like last year with uh, Deloitte uh, for uh, cooperation with state and local authorities uh, to get funding to combat uh, uh, public health emergencies and natural disasters. Can you tell more about that and do you have uh, some more similar partnerships? Sure. Um, Ava Labs has been working really hard to take the b benefits of the Avalanche blockchain to regular traditional companies. We've worked with many companies, many financial companies that have assets to uh, digitize. We've also worked with people who want to, uh, to build interesting financial solutions on top of a blockchain. One of them was Deloitte. Deloitte was uh, tasked uh, by the American government with resolving the, uh, the disaster response problem. Uh, your all, viewers may or may not know this, but every time there's a natural disaster, there's a lot of payouts to various different parties. And uh, resolving those payouts often takes years. So Hurricane Sandy, which I think was seven years ago, maybe more, the accounting books for Hurricane Sandy just got closed this year. It took seven years to sort out who got paid how much and to make sure that nobody got paid twice for the same thing. So um, blockchains can obviously help with this. The government sees this and they partnered with Deloitte to, uh, to build a system where all of the settlement would happen instantly on chain and therefore there would be no reason for, for resolution afterwards. That period would go down from seven years to something much, 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 much lower. Um, and Deloitte chose Avalanche because of its superior infrastructure, because of the fact that it's fast and because of the fact that its subnet, ar subnet architecture allows, it to, allows this, this work to happen in private, in isolation, from other things that are happening on the chain. Yeah, that is great. And can you t uh, share some more upcoming plans for the development of Avalabs? Okay, sure. My voice is going, so, uh, so uh, it would take forever and I would definitely lose my voice if I tried to be comprehensive. But um, I can tell you this. We are innovating across the board. Um, uh, the Avalanche community has shown itself to be uh, to be the community that brings science to the fore, that brings science to blockchains, that brings advanced technology to blockchains. And we're outward oriented, we're coming up with new things to grow the pie, to bring new assets on board. Um, we're going to be making a bunch of changes to the platform to make the platform even faster than it is. There's Avalanche V2 coming, there are interesting bridges coming to other chains uh, to bring more value and more applications on. Uh, there are new asset classes, we talked about ILOs, there's also film offerings coming on, on top of Avalanche, um, as well as many, many others. The NFT space is growing, and um, we ourselves are uh, very, very excited about the, the, the amount of growth and development that's taking place. So. Um, so that's uh, sort of a very, very short take and a very short summary of what I, what, what I can talk about right now. Yes, thank you and hope to see Avalabs and Avalanche even more successful than it is now. Thank you so much for having me.